Hey everyone, in this session we are going to talk about how we can create a schedule flow or a recurrence flow for missing timesheet reminder with use of Power Automate. So now let's get started. First of all, let me explain you the scenario. Let's consider an example for an organization where user log their daily hours into timesheet list. So they have this type of form where they are inserting date, project name, description, hours and attachment field and click on save. So their time logs are entered to this timesheet list. Now let's say if user forgot to fill the timesheet then on the next day they should be reminded with the email notification. So how can we achieve this requirement? We will talk about this in detail with this section. So first of all let's create a flow for that. So first of all go to flow.microsoft.com now go to the my flows from here click on new click on scheduled from blank now give the name of your flow i created a flow with missing timesheet starting this flow so let's say i want to uh, start this flow from today itself so i'm selecting today's date over here every day at 10 am i want to schedule this flow and it should be repeated to every day so every day at 10 am the flow would be scheduled all right so flow will be triggered automatically on this particular time all right now just click on create button i already created the flow, so i'm not going to click on this create button so remember this step first we need to provide the flow name starting date and time and repeat procedure all right this flow will run every day let me go to my already created flow that it is missing timesheet so first action will be the recurrence so it will run on every one day it will be copied all right now initialize one variable over here so in initialize variable i want to find out the previous date so basically today's date I, we can find easily using the UTC now but I want to check like on previous day a user has inserted the timesheet entry or not so I want that particular date so I just need to use this formula over here so let me open up this formula for you this is the formula you can see that I used a function add days that is UTC now minus one now I want to convert this time to form now I want to format this date time value to yymmdd so basically I need to use this function that is format date time and I need to use this format alright so basically the formula is add days utc now minus one and rest of and apart from that I need to use format date time alright so I am providing this formula in the description section as well now we need to use sharepoint get items click on advance so this is my list i am pointing that uh, my uh, timesheet list now under filter query i need to use date equal to previous date so it will find only the record which belongs to previous date now if user has inserted any timesheet entry for yesterday we will get the value over here if we are not getting any rows using this connector that means that user has missed the timesheet and we need to send the reminder email so the next step would be to count the how many rows we are getting using this connector this is the formula under length we just need to add the value parameter over here so we are getting the count of rows all right so if count of rows is greater than zero that means that user has filled the timesheet so we don't need to do anything otherwise we need to send the email notification so this is the email notification where i have added that you have missed the timesheet for this date please review the timesheet all right so this is how we can easily create the timesheet trigger flow so let me just test the flow with the trigger condition so i am manually triggering the flow at this moment so currently is 21st of April so it will check the entry for 20th April from this list and I don't have any entry for 20th April so it will send an email notification to the user so let's check that it's done flow has been ran successfully now we can see that that is recurrence flow 
initialize variable you can see that previous date is 20th of April now I'm getting here this value as a blank that means that it sends the email notification from here right now let's do one more thing add the entry for 20th of April and then let's check the flow condition so I am adding one entry I am adding 8 hours for date of 20 now let me rerun the flow so I am clicking edit and now I am testing again run the flow let's see it's being done so you can see that in get items we are getting one row like this right that means that it will not send an email to user all right so this is how we can easily create a scheduled flow for missing timesheet hope you clear about that based on your organization scenario and number of users you need to modify the flow but the logic would be the same if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. Stay connected with me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and WhatsApp. If you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel just click on this link. This will be redirected to you to this form. Fill the form and you will be receiving the daily notification on your WhatsApp number. Stay connected with me. Have a great day. Goodbye.